Welcome back everyone. This is Kathy from Bridges Stamping. Um, I've been away a couple weeks. I had to have surprise dental surgery. Uh, it was not pleasant, but I am back. And hopefully in time to you, uh, catch your attention for the last week or so of celebration. Um, the bad news is this gold um, bedazzling paper has sold out. So if there's any paper you have your eyes on, make sure you get those purchases in, okay? The actual paper we're gonna be working with is the Peaceful Prints paper. Um, and I wanna show you um, a design and um, that shows that you can use any paper and any stamps that you have. Um, I, for disclosure, the design I got from Connie Stewart, but I put my own little spin on it with the, the paper I had. And I'm gonna show you another um, design I did in a little bit. So this is the Peaceful Prints uh, paper. And I just wanted to show you, these were some options for sentiments that you could use. The Penguin Place, there's Penguin Paper, which I still have not played with, I do have. The Holly Jolly Wishes, I, this is just a great set. Um, and the Tidings and Trimmings has some nice sentiments as well. Uh, but the nice thing is I'm using the, pun um, the Oval Punch. You can use a Taylor Tag Punch, Circle Dies, anything you already have in your stash in order to create this card. So what are the measurements? So we're gonna take a piece of designer series paper, and this is 10 and a half by four. So if you cut your designer paper, um, I cut off that one and a half inch at the bottom, and then I cut it four, four, and four. Then you get three cards out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then you're gonna wanna score it. So I did not do it in advance. So you wanna make sure if your paper is directional, it's going to be fold like this. So you want to make sure you score it on the right part. And we're going to score it at five and a quarter. All right. Okay. And we're just going to, sorry, my, uh, my bone folder was hiding. Fold and burnish that. Okay. Move it off to the side. We're going to have a colored cardstock base. Now, when you pick your cardstock, you want something that um, there's a little bit of contrast. So this is Evening Evergreen. I thought it went really well with the, the red, and I, thought I liked how it popped. So this piece is a standard card base size. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. So you literally cut a piece of cardstock in half both ways. Inside for our, our inside sentiment, and this came from that Holly Jolly Wishes. It is four and three quarters by three and a half. And then um, use a scrap for your sentiment. And we're gonna use some of this gorgeous, absolutely beautiful evening evergreen ribbon. I just love this ribbon. Okay, so we're going to punch out. So I tried a bunch of different season greetings. Um, this is from the Penguin Place. This one was from, um, what is this called? Tidings and Trimmings. I decided I, I like personally the Penguin better. So, and when you have a long strip like, a scrap like this, it's really easy to punch. You just slide it through the side and get that centered as best you can. I stamped in Evening Evergreen as well. And then this is the brush metallic paper. So, um, I just, I love this. I keep ordering packs of it when it's available. So we're just gonna, oh, that's, that's probably gonna glare. Sorry about that. Okay, there you go. Now, um, when I attach this to this, because whenever you deal with gold foil paper, I don't like to deal with uh, the liquid glue. So I just use some tear and tape. The problem is with the liquid glue on the gold, the foil paper, if it smears, you got a big mess. I've had to throw out a couple cards uh, for that reason, because of its smearing. And when I move my trimmer, I moved everything. Okay, so we are going to take this and attach it to the goal. Like that. Okay. So then we're going to use our Stamp and Sale Plus. I'm just gonna make sure we have the right 
side. Actually, before I do the stamp and seal, I want to attach my ribbon. So we want to eyeball where this is going to go. So first we're going to want to figure out where we are going to put our sentiment. So if we put it right, put it right up here, we can put it down here, but I think we're going to go up like around here. Okay, so if that's the case, then once again we're going to use our tear and tape. nice thing about this it gives you some repositionable time okay so make sure this is not um, twisted go under here going to right there just fiddle with it till you get it how you like it and it's a little bit too long So we're going to put this on in a second, but first we're going to attach this to our card base. So as I said before, I'm going to be using my Stampin' Seal Plus. It is very strong. It doesn't leave any streaks. The only problem is, unlike with the liquid glue, you have to be pretty precise with how you place it. Okay, just make sure. Alright, so we put this. And we want about a quarter of an inch, actually put this straight on the grid paper here, a quarter of an inch border. Sorry, it's really hard to position things when you're on camera. Okay. Well, if it's crooked, like they say, it is homemade and it uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Okay, so then on the inside, we are going to put our insert. And for this, we can use liquid glue. You can also use stamp and seal, whatever your preference. The only thing I'm thinking about is when you're using um, it on the foil. season's greetings and our dimensionals because it's going to go over the ribbon we want it around the ribbon so we're just going to put it on the top and the bottom okay I like this design so much uh, because it's a great way to use up the paper your um, 12 by 12 paper and I realized I have a lot of 12 by 12 paper. I have 12 by 12 paper from last season that I haven't used. So I'm going to actually make as many cards. This is just glue dots. I, I made a, a knot and I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to use as much as my 12 by 12 paper as I can. So there we have our card. And what's nice is this dot design does stand up. So if somebody's putting their holiday cards on display, this is, um, I made with this is some retired paper. Um, however, once I, as I said, I have a lot of 12 by 12 paper I need to use. So I just thought it was, um, and then I used um, the Tasteful Labels, Tasteful Touches um, dies for this. So this design is simple, but you can make it your own in so many different ways. This is the white organza ribbon. Um, the glitter is really pretty in person. It's hard to see on the camera. And I use that snowflake wishes die. And you want a background color that goes with your designer series paper. So no matter which paper you choose, um, you can still do this design. Um, postcodes in the description. Remember, you only have until September 30th to uh, get the, your celebration items in. Remember, every $50 purchase orders you a free product. Any questions, leave me a comment or send me an email and stamp on.